backyard of a terraced house in the middle of a Nottinghamshire mining town is not the place that you would rush to to see this particular species. On here, in this small leaf at the tip of this goat saddle, is the caterpillar, a third inch long caterpillar of the purple emperor butterfly. A butterfly which is doing very well indeed. Well, it didn't have the best of years though in 2022. And this chap is very lucky to get to this stage. This is MP3. Now, regular viewers to this channel may think, well, where's MP2 then? And that's the story of this video. A few weeks ago on this channel I featured some rather startling and surprising events in the life cycle of MP2, another purple emperor caterpillar which I was rearing. MP2 should have been at this stage about a centimetre long and preparing for the winter months. However, MP2 had other ideas and whether it was some genetic inheritance or abnormality or a result of the extreme heat and hot weather that we had during the summer of 2022 or a combination of both perhaps. MP2 died rather unexpectedly but not after undergoing several moles. Those moles included an extra molt, an extra molt that shouldn't have occurred in the end, MP2 died while an L6 larva. L6 is unheard of in Purple Emperor history. At least, it's never been documented before. Occasionally, in the past, people have had Purple Emperor larvae which have continued to grow for some reason, ultimately failing or emerging as a butterfly doomed to a short and redundant life due to the extremes of weather in the autumn. MP2 never made it that far, it looked as though he would do and when he molded into fourth instar and then a week later to fifth and then into sixth. I was stunned and so were several other people as well. But then one day I caught him eating and videoed him and that's going to make up the bulk of this video it's the last videos of mp2 a few days later mp2 fed again and then crawled down the stem and ultimately died never did get the chance to pupate but whatever was going on it was interesting to, doc to document probably the first documentation of an L6 larva, I believe it is, and I've not heard anything from anywhere else on to the contrary. Meanwhile, MP3 here, which was found a couple of months ago, is progressing normally and will be the feature of several videos before being released, hopefully, as an adult butterfly back at the point of collection. And that's the whole idea. I like to rear one larva through. It's pretty much a guarantee as best I can that the butterfly will make it through to adulthood. A luxury it can't always have in the wild. There's a lot of predators and dangers for larva like purple emperors, which for some silly reason seem to like to adorn the upper surface of a leaf throughout the life cycle. But that's something to look forward to. Now we'll feature Purple Emperor Lava Little MP2. Sad demise in the end, not unexpected. Ultimately it was doomed but I thought I'd feature 
this last feeding clip. Little did I realise at the time that it would be the last time that I got to film MP2 before his untimely death. And here is MP2. Now, this was one day when he was feeding. This was filmed on the 19th of September. And all appeared reasonably okay. Although he was three or four times the size that he should have been compared to MP3, which I had at this time. Now, MP2 here was first seen or found as an egg on July the 15th at Clipston Old Quarter. And I collected him as an L2 larva on August the 3rd. On August the 20th, he molted to L3, to third instar. And then on the 1st of September, and in a move that really surprised me, molted again to L4. And that was the last video that I showed on this channel. But then seven days later, he molted to L5. Now, as many of you will know, Purple Emperor's overwinter as L3 larva to about a centimetre in length. So what this chap was doing, growing like this, we've no idea. There must have been something genetically wrong in the makeup somewhere. But what caused that? No idea. But say I have to molt into L5 on September the 8th. I took this video September the 19th when I caught him actually feeding. The movements were rather sluggish, but purple emperors, when you view them from above like this, they look just very slug-like in the movements. And in fact, the slug would probably beat MP2, but I wasn't necessarily concerned that he, he wasn't eating a great deal, but he certainly wasn't eating as much as an L5 larva should. Anyway, after filming this on 19th September, I was stunned when MP2 molted again to L6, which is an unknown instar for Purple Emperor larva. That was on 26th of September. Something was genetically wrong, quite clearly, whether it was the weather, the hot summer and the hot, dry weather we had. No idea. It certainly led to extreme failure in egg rates at Clipsnall Quarter and in other parts of Sherwood Forest amongst purple emperors. Out of 40 eggs, we know of only two, possibly three, larvae that have survived. As you can see, MP2 is having a breather here. Now, he didn't eat as much as an L5 larva would do. And that was a little disconcerting, because I thought that he would feed normally, pupate and produce a rather redundant butterfly, maybe late October. But bouts of eating were just about daily, although obviously he spent several days at a time molting, quite a lengthy molting process, I think, compared to other species. And here he is returning down that stem, and this is his favourite leaf. You can just about make out his pad of silk at the end of that leaf. Now he'll walk down to the end. This is what I love about Purple Emperor larva, because they'll, they have a favoured resting leaf and then will go off to feed on another leaf and that can be quite a distance and then returning like a homing pigeon back to the loft and all the way they'll walk to the end and then he'll turn round and he'll, he'll make sure that his rear end and the rest of his body is lined up with the midrib and then having turned round and got in the exact position where the that pointed end of the ab of the end of the larva is right in line with the tip of the leaf and here he starts to turn round. It's a shame that eleven days later he performed this same routine of wandering off going to have something to eat. I had watched him eat and then he wandered. I thought he was just going to return here. He wandered past his leaf and I lost him for an hour or two and eventually found him dead the same day 
on September the 30th at the base of the food plant in amongst the leaves and it's just about sorting itself out the head will drop in a minute here we go and those stripes on top of the caterpillar and on those projections match the veins of the leaf so that's the last video of little mp2